Well, we are back here, bright and early Monday morning again. And we got just a little over an inch of rain uh, Saturday afternoon, Saturday night. So this is a muddy, muddy mess right now. I doubt I get to load any trucks today, but the only thing I know to do is to come in here and try to maybe scrape off this top layer and hopefully the sun will get out on it and start drying it out today. It's supposed to be 60 today, 65 tomorrow and windy, and then tomorrow night it gets down to like 24, and then Wednesday, I think the high is only like 30, so. But we don't have any more rain in the forecast for at least a week. So yeah, I'm kind of making that my next cut now is I'm just down to all this clay. It's muddy enough that you can't really get out and walk around without having 15 pounds of mud on your boots. So I'm trying to just kind of uh, eyeball a cut. It's kind of hard to tell. For this grade right here, I'm just trying to get it kind of close and carrying it over to at least just a little bit past the fence because that's why I'm gonna make it flat and drain out that way, and I'll start kind of having this berm over here, but uh, the only thing I know to do is kind of come in here, like I said, make another cut, and try to scrape this top layer of stuff off. I probably need to kind of try to maybe take the back of the bucket or something, like I'm doing right there, and just slick it up or seal it up, because if it does rain again, the way I got to cut, water will just stay in there and soak down in there even more, but I'm just going to kind of start cutting everything around the back of the fence and bringing it to the back and I just I got a pile started. I worked over here a little bit Saturday before it started raining real heavy. I was hoping uh, it would dry out a little bit more on Sunday but it only got like 45 yesterday it was cloudy so we may not get a whole lot done over here today but I thought I already got the two machines here. They're nice and muddy, so why not? I can do the bulk of my cutting today, even if I don't load trucks, until I run out of room. I probably really need to try to get it close and then get the dozer in here and kind of at least get it to drain. Because right now it's low and high and the water's just sitting there. That's probably gonna be hard to tell. I got a big chunk of that stuff. Now we even went on the back side there where it starts getting more narrow and just kept piling it this way. It's, you probably couldn't tell like in a time lapse and I didn't do a lot of just filming because it was so monotonous, but if you can almost loosen that stuff up or bail it, you can load the truck so much faster than just trying to dig a hillside out that's never been dug because it's so much slower for the machine trying to cut through all that stuff, so kind of digging it twice but if you can load those trucks even faster I could have probably got a few more loads in each day if I already had it kind of piled up and loosened up a little bit where you could just grab it right beside the truck and load it. I got to the point where I didn't have time to dig out in front of me where the trucks were backing in there so I just started swinging out both sides as far as I could reach so, I mean, like everything just adds more time to it. The further you have to swing to get the dirt to load the trucks, that takes a little longer. And if it slows you down digging it, so if you can get a nice big stockpile where the material's loose, you can get the bucket heaped up more and actually load the trucks a little quicker. Because if it takes you longer, then you start getting where the trucks just start piling up on you because it takes in the same amount of time to make a round, but then if you just get one or two, it takes you a little longer to load. Next thing you know, you got four dump trucks sitting here waiting on you. And everybody knows they can always, all the trucks can leave at different times, but they all show back up at the same time somehow. But yeah, for this morning, we'll just kind of, uh, Scrape some of our mud off and try to get some stockpiles set up. Like I said, hopefully in a couple hours. We may not be able to back all the way across here because you know some of that's loosened up and it's really muddy back in there. Maybe I can start getting some of the trucks in here and just start hauling some of this clay to my shop. Because at least where they're taking it to the shop, 
Luckily, it's not been disturbed and it's on a hillside, so it's not it's not muddy down there.
Well, it's that time of year again until I worked <laughs> till it's pitch black, but got the two machines parts fueled up and greased. You guys can't see any of the progress. I think we got 15 loads hauled off. <clears throat> uh, I think we only hauled for like two and a half hours. I couldn't get trucks like three o'clock, but it is dry enough and I got a bunch of trucks lined up for tomorrow and I may have landed a really short haul. Uh, within like a couple blocks when I got the guy talked into he's paying for the trucking so I may have scored an even better deal because he wants to build a pad with his clay so that'll be that'll make things go really quick then so for tomorrow so we'll just catch you guys then